So in true Keikaku Corner fashion, Tristan, we are talking about a story based on something that has already come out by the time this video on the story comes out. So a, a certain Goku... We talked about this at the at the, at the top of the a certain, a certain a certain <laughs> Goku out of the plethora of multiverse Gokus is coming out, and so Tristan, apparently this this Goku is from uh, the Dragon Ball GT verse, and uh, yeah. a little tiny Goku is coming to Fighter Z. Now apparently it's coming. A new update is coming. It's a DLC. He's a TLC character by the way, so you have to pay for him. So if anyone wants to pay for this Goku, well, you have to you have to do it. Although he is available in a season pass as well, so you could just get him a la. You have to get him a la carte. You just get him in the in the same season pass. Either way, it's right. coming out May 9th, which again, it's past May 9th. This is already out. Right. So Tristan, Welcome my question back. is this: Do you think you're going to play with him? Now that he's like play with his character as he's already out. Uh, well, I I do intend to get the fighter pass at some point when I can. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I think that's a nice addition. I thought the uh, there was a video that went along with it for Goku Day, which I actually really liked. Like it was like, okay. you know, look at all the fights of Goku, and it went through, you know, each of his, um. You know each of his forms and the big battle that was surrounding that. So I thought that was really cool and it was nice. That's nice. Um, I don't care I mean, enough about him. For... But, That's fair. Yeah. But well, no, because here's the thing. So um, for an episode of uh, weird uh, weird pickups, which is something that we do on our TG Productions YouTube channel, uh, I was going through some interesting fan sub tapes that I had acquired, and one of them. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it was specifically, but one of them was was from GT, and I realized that because um, you know they will be uh, we'll be focusing on them for different episodes of Weird Pickups. So so one of them was GT, and I realized you know what I don't I, I really don't despise GT, but I do yeah. think that there are certain parts of GT that I'm like why did you do this why did you do this, and I'm not saying that making Goku smaller was a problem, and I really enjoyed Super Saiyan for Goku, uh, especially right. his design. It was very interesting. But, um, and I did enjoy Baby as well. Weird name, but I enjoy uh, some of the stuff that he was able to do and, and how villainous he was, and it was very interesting. Um, but I, I just, I don't know, just, I'm not saying that you can't have GT characters in this. It's just that it does confuse things a little bit because I don't think he's, so obviously he's not part of the main story. So, like, are they going to create a story with some of these season, uh, the season pass Fighters or no? Because remember, I don't know too much about fighters, Tristan. So you know more than I do. Right. So like, are these characters just for fun, for tournaments, you know, shits and giggles types of characters? Um, because yeah, we, I mean, I feel yeah. like they're just for fun at this point. Um, okay. There haven't been. I mean, I haven't bought um, the fighter passes at all, but I don't think they add any more to story mode. I'm only curious because aren't there six? Aren't there like six to eight new fighters, or are there only a few? I thought there were a lot of new fighters. Um, oh, I'm trying to think because this because is the there's second fighting pass, right? That's what I'm first saying. One yeah, had Bardock, um, movie bro, like half movie Broly, <laughs> original movie Broly, um, right? Before Super Broly, um. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. All right, you know what? Let me just look real quick. Yeah, yeah, you look it up because I'm going to say that, look, I'm not saying that you guys can't enjoy GT Goku. I think just for me, like, we made this joke, or at least, maybe it was a joke that you and I made, Tristan, or this was set online, but, like, a decent chunk of the roster is just Goku. That's that that's something. You know, that, that that's a thing. That a decent chunk of the roster is Goku. By the way, is Cooler part of uh, the Fighter Pass? Yes, Cooler was also okay. on the first one. And so, when you say first, that. when you say first one <laughs> and and second one, does that mean that one Fighter yeah. Pass is like twenty bucks, and the other Fighter Pass is also twenty bucks? Uh, it might be thirty. Fuck. Okay. No, I'm only bringing it up because yeah. the characters are nice and all. But what else is being brought to the table? I'm just curious. 
Um, because again, like, and by the way, I'm sorry, I should mention. And this, and, and, uh, by the way, the characters that have been announced so far for, uh, for oh yeah, I'm sorry, the characters so far for Fighter Pass Two. So please look up Fighter Pass One. For Fighter Pass Two are Juden Videl, Broly from Super Broly and Gogeta. Which of yeah. course is the Gogeta from Super Broly. So looking right. at this, this is one, two, three, four. This is the fifth character. So there should be one more coming up. You know, one more yeah, along the way. Right. Yeah. But um, but yeah, and so oh, I'm sorry. So I do have the um, the previously announced characters in front of me. So sorry about this, Tristan. Um, it was you're right. It was Broly. You know, from the older movies, Broly, Bardock. A fused Zamasu, Vegito Blue, right. Base Goku, Base Vegeta, Cooler, and Android 17. And 17, right. That's what it was. Right. Yes. So, and that was released, um, and, and the reason why I know this is because they actually released January 31st a deluxe edition. The problem is that it was download only. So it was nice that it had the base game <laughs> alongside these DLC characters, but as someone who wants to own the physical game, that was meaningless to me. Right. So I just ended up getting the game for like twenty five bucks. Um, yeah. But it, yeah. But anyway. So Tristan, um, I I was going to what I was trying to say is like, is this going to be your main? That's the thing. Like, look, I'm not saying that there shouldn't be more uh, more DLC characters. That's really nice. I get it, right? I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, no DLC for a fighting game. It would be nice to have more characters in the game, but I think there are a decent amount of characters in in the base game. So I understand. Hey, here's some more fighters. But I don't know. I'm not saying there's no GT fans. I just think that with the way GT was both in Japan and in the U.S., how it kind of flopped in both areas. Yeah. Honestly, I, I would say if they had added, you know, a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, just as, like, that's their base, is Super Saiyan yeah. 4, sure. Yeah. To make it, you know, Kid Goku from GT, which I believe his, his finisher, he goes Super Saiyan 4 and does... Super Dragon Fist, which is yeah, you know, it's still cool, but yeah, honestly, I would have said you probably should have just gone with Super Saiyan Four as the base form. Yeah, but that's, and again, you know, I'm not me. Yeah, and I'm not saying that villains are a problem from GT. Again, you bring in Baby, um, you bring in Omega Shenron. I get it. Right. Yeah, Omega Shenron would be a big one for me. Um, oh, that's probably who would be next. I would imagine. Possibly. Yeah. Like, if you did, you know, Goku and Vegeta and then Omega Shenron from GT, I feel like that would be fine, you know? You know who would be nice? And I say this person would be nice because we have characters in this game who have no right to be able to fight against, like, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? Right. Why not put in someone like Pan? I know it might seem weird and out of place, but remember, Tristan, remember... We have, you know, we fucking have um, uh, Ginyu. Not Ginyu, I'm sorry. Not Ginyu, Raccoon. Raccoon should not be able to fight against a fused Zamasu. Yeah, no, you're right, uh, Ginyu. Yeah. Ginyu no, is the no, only one say, you can actually play as. I didn't want to say, oh, I'm sorry, I thought Raccoon was available. I didn't want to say Ginyu no. because Ginyu could technically do the the switcheroo technique. So oh, I was like, you know what? Maybe switch, not. Yeah. Maybe not. No, you could, I, you know, you've got Yamcha and Hien and Krillin in here too. Granted, yeah. I'm happy they're in there, but... Yeah. Um, granted, I know Pan doesn't really have any fighting experience, but I'm thinking of someone from GT who isn't just another character who's already in the game. Oh, I see. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind Pan. What if Krillin, um, but with a thick mustache? No. What if Super Android 17? No. What if... Yeah, I I feel like that would be weird at this point. That would be hilarious should, to see 17 and then Super 17 fight, and he's just like, oh, God, what, what happened? <laughs> there should be a costume, <laughs> if there isn't already for Super 17, for 17. Right. Um, like, yeah, if there costume, isn't a costume, I, I there should. No, I don't think they've done costumes. Oh, they've done okay. other things like stickers and stuff. 
Well, that's that's how you know that I don't know enough about this game. I said that to you guys in the beginning of this, uh, talking about this. So yeah. you guys know I'm serious. Um, but but yeah, I just I'm not saying that GT should never be included. That's silly. But I I think with how canon the story. I mean, granted, again, the, the, these DLC characters aren't really part of the main story. There's no story about them separately. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, look, if I'll say this much, if you down below, if you're clamoring for GT Goku and you're happy, I'm actually really happy for you because this doesn't affect me at all. Right. Like I won't be using him, but I mean, there's so many other characters in this DLC pack that I would be using that I would obviously get it. So like, I'm not saying that he shouldn't be in the game at all. Oh, I don't like it. So we shouldn't be in there. No, it's just that last I checked and maybe the the the, uh, the tides have shifted the tides have turned i mean there are some people who are saying that gt was better than super which i vehemently disagree with but all right um right yeah i just if you really you know if you if you think he should be in the game and you're happy he's in the game awesome bless your heart but like for me and i don't know about you tristan but just for me i don't really see the need for him yeah yeah um even though, like I said, Super Saiyan 4, a little bit better. But even then, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, yes, you could argue it isn't a Dragon Ball Z game without some GT representation, but I would have no problem with the villains. Right. You know, Omega Shenron, Baby, um, yeah, definitely not 17 again. Um, there weren't a lot of really uh, big GT villains, were there? Um, I feel like there's yeah. one... We're forgetting. Oh, but, the robot. Uh, well, because not robot, but because remember, cause remember <laughs> but no, no, not Kido. Oh, the, oh no, oh, I would fucking yeah, I would buy this pack immediately if Giru was in it. Gido, 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 oh, Gido. Oh shit! God. Oh, I fucking hated him. No, if Gido was in this and he could bring other support characters from space, so it's like, oh no, Gido, oh, Gido, and like he like can bring like the Don Pata brothers. I would, I would fucking oh my god fucking lose my shit. I love them so much. Don't para 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 don't pa pa. I fucking love them so much. Why are we dancing? Why does the show exist, Goku? Stop asking questions. I now um, accept the love and the open arms of death. <laughs> only now. Come on, Tristan. Don't lie to us. Um. Oh, excuse me. By the way, no trunks. Please don't give me another trunks. We have the good trunks we, and and the other good trunks. We don't need GT oh, trunks. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, we're good. Um, but no, yeah. So I mean, again, like oh, that's hilarious. You're right. You what? know what? I I'm like, well, Matt, like I like super trunks. What are you talking about? Of course, you mean the trunks from GT. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love how my brain didn't even like didn't even go there. Right, there is also a GT trunks. Oh. Obviously, this is this exists. All right, goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh. But again, so this doesn't excite you. This doesn't really excite me. But we we hope. Well, does it excite you? I should I shouldn't speak for you. Yeah, I mean, you know, altogether as a as a fighter pass, I'm definitely getting it for other characters, not specifically for GT Goku. But right. Like, if it was just an add-on for him, and they're like, you can buy this, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. Yeah. Basically. All right, that's fair. But, so, you know, like yeah. Matt said, if this, is, if this is up your alley, then happy for you. Exactly. So, what I want to hear is what you guys think about all of this down below. Are you extremely excited about this? Do you just simply not care? Tell us what you think about all of this stuff related to GT Goku being in the game. And also, if at this point you've played as GT Goku, tell us if you like him. If he's your new main, how he plays, if he's your least favorite. Tell us what you think about all, tell us, uh, what you think about all of this stuff down below.